Hey, what's up guys? Rob here. Welcome back to a brand new Weekly Watch video. Basically, Monday through Friday, what movies did I watch during the week? I usually keep it at two movies per day, but this week I decided to up the ante a little bit and watch three movies per day. It was a little tough, believe me. And some of these titles changed, okay? Uh, and I'll explain. There were certain movies that I wanted to watch, and I was telling everybody I was going to watch them, but then I saw something else in my collection, which actually happens. If you have a huge collection, you see one movie, then you take it out, and you're like, eh, I don't know, yeah, maybe I'll watch it. Then you see another one that catches your eye. That happens to me all the time. Anyway, uh, yeah, Monday through Friday, three movies per day. Just want to give a shout out to Julie Cassidy, Horror Fan 34, one of my best friends, Thomas. Uh, we got Dale Stark. We have Mark Boy 316 and Michelle. Um, all these people are part of the Weekly Watch Challenge. And um, yeah, really, really cool people. Go check them out here on YouTube. So let's get started with Monday. This is February 7th through the 11th. Here we got Monday. I watched Ghostbusters Afterlife, uh, the third movie in the Ghostbusters series. Uh, we're not counting the 2016 movie because that has nothing to do with the series. It is garbage. It belongs at the bottom of the toilet bowl. That's where it belongs. But this movie, awesome. Next one I watched is the 1968 classic, Night of the Living Dead. Yes, this is the Criterion Collection um, version, and it is fantastic. This movie still holds up. Even though I kind of prefer the remake... Um, it's still an amazing movie. It's still kind of creepy, too. And the third movie I watched on Monday, Dead Silence. This is directed by James Wan. James Wan is probably, right now, my favorite horror director. Um, and he does some solid flicks with some great music, great scares, um, and, uh, some, some really cool ideas he has. Uh, so, Dead Silence. All right, moving on to Tuesday. Now, this day was kind of a stink fest. And what I want to say is I watched some movies that I never saw before, and I was just, like, disgusted. I wanted to throw up, and these movies just suck, okay? It's just my opinion. I did not like them. First one I watched on Tuesday is Fantasy Island, okay? Um, I do have a fantasy of not wanting to watch crappy movies and it didn't come true okay it's more like a wish i guess this is wonder woman 84 but anyway this movie is terrible don't waste your time with this stupid movie it is stupid the plot is stupid it wasn't executed i mean the idea was was fine but the way it was executed it was like okay what the hell is going on here this movie is just all over the place <sighs> The next one is a movie you probably never heard of. It is a low-budget, um, you know, independent horror film. And it is called Restricted Area. This movie is this one of the stupidest films I've ever seen. Um, the whole beginning... I mean, you have Sean C. Phillips who plays... You know, he's Cool Duder here on YouTube. Uh, you know, I give the guy credit for acting and stuff, but this movie is terrible. I'm sorry. The whole beginning shows Cool Duder and, um, I believe, Danny from uh, Sinistalker or whatever, they're walking for like a good five minutes. They're just sitting there walking. And the camera is like they're walking into a building. They're walking up to you. It's just them walking the whole time. They could have cut like two minutes of that footage out. This movie is just terrible. The, uh. And the last one I watched, uh, I've seen this before and I wanted to revisit it because I do love the first movie. And this is a sequel to the original 70s version. And it is I Spit on Your Grave, Deja Vu, otherwise known as AKA Day of the Woman. Get the hell out of here. The Day of the Woman? No. This movie is atrocious. I mean, the original I Spit on Your Grave was fantastic. I love that movie. It's one of my favorite revenge flicks. Okay? This one? Don't waste your time. Moving on to Wednesday, uh, I watched Batman Begins. Uh, this is my favorite out of the Nolan trilogy. I know it's weird to say that. A lot of people will say, well, what about The Dark Knight with Heath Ledger? That's the, the best one. 
I like the Dark Knight a lot, but this one I feel is the is my favorite. Uh, if I review it, I'll, I'll go over a lot of reasons why. The next one I watched on Wednesday is Blade. I freaking love this movie. Blade is awesome. I saw this in the theater. I remember the first time I was just blown away by it uh, when Wesley Snipes was, you know, doing the martial arts and, and kicking vampire ass. Uh, amazing. Wesley Snipes to me is Blade. <clears throat> and the last one I watched on Wednesday is Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. Uh, this came out on Tuesday and I bought it. Um, this is not as bad as people are saying. I actually enjoyed it for what it was. Does it have problems? Of course. Yes, it has. A, in fact, it has many problems. But for what it was, it was fun. It, it was a Resident Evil movie. It felt like one. It really did. Uh, there's some things they could have changed, but it was good. Moving on to Thursday. I wanted to watch this because I haven't seen it in a long time and uh, wanted to revisit it, and it's Godzilla. Uh, I believe that, yeah, 98, this is the uh, 98 version, or, or otherwise known as the American version, so to say. Uh, this is a good film. I really think this is still good. It holds up well. Godzilla looks really good. Um, you know, the creature design. Not as good as the original Godzilla that we all know and love, the Toho stuff. But whatever, it's it's good for what it is. Next one I watched on Thursday is Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, based on the Scary Stories books. Fantastic movie. Saw this in the theater. Really, really love it. It's got some really creepy parts. If you haven't seen Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, this is one of my recommendations to you guys. The last one I watched on Thursday <clears throat> is Hostel. Uh, directed by Eli Roth. Uh, when it comes to Eli Roth, I don't know. I think my favorite film is maybe Cabin Fever. I like Cabin Fever a lot. This one has grown on me. I used to not really care for this film because it's basically just torture porn. But when I think of torture porn, I think more of Saw uh, than this. And uh, yeah, this I, st I still think this holds up pretty well. I do love the whole third act with Jay Hernandez. Really, really cool. So, all right, moving on to Friday. Now, I just want to mention this. <clears throat> um, in place of scary stories, I was going to watch Tommyknockers. And I know a lot of, I told a lot of people in the group that I was going to watch Tommyknockers. But I ended up watching um, Scary Stories because it was on the shelf there. And I'm like, you know, I haven't seen this movie in a while or at least since it came out. So I wanted to revisit it. And I was going to watch D3, The Mighty Ducks. Um, that was on my list. And I decided to watch something else. So... There are a couple films that I said in the group that I was going to watch, but I changed my mind. Um, so the first one I wanted to check out on Friday is a movie from 1984 that I remember my dad had on VHS. Um, he recorded it on television. And it is Ninja 3, The Domination. It's part of the Ninja movies. You know, there's Revenge of the Ninja, there's Enter the Ninja. Um, this is the Scream Factory edition. They, they made two different ones. Uh, but this is basically about a woman who gets terrorized, um, or she actually gets possessed by this ninja spirit, and she turns into one. But the whole beginning of this film is this ninja taking out police. It's like a horror movie. He's cutting people up with his katana sword, throwing ninja stars. He's freaking, he's killing people. This ninja is killing people. Um, really, really cool movie, guys. Uh, it's kind of cheesy, but it's, it's cool. Next one I checked out on Friday is a movie I saw in the theaters. Really, really enjoyed it a lot. Um, it was uh, it, uh, written, or it was produced by James Gunn. And uh, it is Brightburn. Basically a Superman movie. If, if Superman went bad, what would happen? Like, what would it look like? That's basically what this is. This kid crash lands from his alien ship, uh, <clears throat> you know, on this farm. And, like, um, the parents take him in. And this kid has powers. Uh, you know, he has flight, he has super strength and in, in the, the heat vision or whatever. It's, it's just like Superman, but they create their own little story with it. Um, I was pleasantly surprised on how gory it was. This movie is gory, but uh, it's just cool. It's like a, a evil Superman horror film. That's what it is. <laughs> so, I decided to end Friday with one of my favorite movies. Um, that's directed by Sam Raimi. Uh, of course, you know, Evil Dead and Spider-Man movies. And I still think this movie holds up. I, I think it's brilliant. There are a few CG moments that could be changed. Um, 
or tweaked or something like that. But all in all, I love the story. I love the ending to this movie. It's a lot of fun. And it is Drag Me to Hell. Uh, you know, basically this girl gets terrorized by this old lady, this gypsy lady, who, lay in, who she basically lays a curse on her. And this um, demon starts to uh, stalk this girl and tries to bring her down to hell. Uh, really, it's it's a lot of fun. It's really cool. It's got like some really cool effects other than a few CG parts like I mentioned. But um, it's just, a, yeah, it's, just, it's got that Raimi feel to it, the same Raimi feel. Uh, but yeah, this includes the, oh, well, this is the unrated director's cut. But uh, yeah, really cool movie. If you haven't seen Drag Me to Hell, definitely check it out. So, uh, what do you guys think of the titles that I mentioned here? Let me know in the comments. Um, and like I said, you know, a lot of those I recommend to you guys if you have not seen them. Uh, but again, thank you very much for tuning in. I will be back next week uh, to show you guys what I watched. And I'm going to try to maybe push three movies again. I don't know. We'll see. I usually like to keep it at two, but once in a while, I'll switch it up. But stay tuned for like more top ten videos, more reviews that I'm working on, and uh, just different videos in general so all right guys see you in the next one say bye freddy say bye bitch <laughs>